This video covers the Alex topic, finding the perimeter or area of a rectangle given one of these values. So some things we need to know before we get started when it comes to rectangles are that the area is the length times the width and the perimeter would be two times the length plus two times the width. So for example one, the length of a rectangle is six times its width if the area of the rectangle is 600 feet squared, let's find its perimeter. So I have that my area, which is 600 feet squared, is my length times my width. And then I have that I've got my length is six times my width. I can now substitute 6w in for L. So I have 600 feet squared. Let's include our units. Is 6w times w. That gives me 600 feet squared is 6w squared. We divide both sides by 6. 100 feet squared is w squared. We take the square root, so 10 feet is my w. So I now know my width, but I need to find my length. Well, my length is 6w, so length is 6w. So my length is 6 times 10 feet. That means my length is 60 feet. Now that I know my length is 60 feet and my width is 10 feet, I can use this to solve for my perimeter. My perimeter is 2 times my length which is 60 feet, plus 2 times my width, which is 10 feet. My perimeter is 120 feet, plus 20 feet. My perimeter is 140 feet. Let's work through another example. The length of a rectangle is 4 inches longer than its width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 48 inches, find its area. So I know 48 inches is my perimeter, so that's 2 times my length plus 2 times my width. And I know that the length of my rectangle is 4 inches longer than my width. So my length would be W plus 4. And I can substitute this in for L to solve for W and then go back and solve for L. So I have 48 is 2 times w plus 4 plus 2w. 48, we have to distribute, is 2w plus 8 plus 2w. 48 is then 4w plus 8. I subtract 8 from both sides. I get 40 equals 4w. Uh, divide both sides by 4. So 10 is W, so 10 inches, right? This was 48 inches. Just don't forget at the end. Now my length is W plus 4. So my length is going to be 10 plus 4. So my length is 14 inches. Now that I know my width and my length, I can find my area. Area is going to be 14 inches times 10 inches. So my area is 140 inches squared. 